Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Palmisano here, back on GuitarGate.com, and D-O-0-0-0-0 hits me with little Lucas Nelson, angel flying too close to the ground. Let's do it. Please welcome Lucas Nelson. had not have fallen I just I have to go back this is a guitar teacher reacts right so many cool things just happened and would he pick up on them would he choose to display them if Willie wasn't his father and probably one that maybe he didn't teach him to play guitar but certainly inspired him I don't know but <laughs> Don't sleep on Willie Nelson's guitar playing. And these little moves, check this out from the beginning. I'll talk you through it. I know all you songwriters out there are like, get to the song, but check it. So right there is a move from a one to a three, A major, C sharp minor, okay? So you're picking straight across, and then you go down a half step, Right, and then straight across the, this is now becomes the fifth minor third and root of your three chord C sharp minor. That's slick, my friends. To your four, right? D. You got it. Talk about this all the time on Guitar Game, right? Your one, two, three, five, six, major pentatonic. Here's your D. Walk up. One, two, three. Over a string. Five, six. There's your root again. Embellishments. Back to one. Four. Chromatic. Always watch the chromatics, right? Right here. So hip. Right? So here's your one. Raise your root up a half step. Right? That becomes kind of like a fifth in the bass. Okay? For this D sharp diminished little vibe, walk it up again. That becomes your fifth in the bass again. For like a five chord, like here's your E7. That that is such a hip little country placement, right? A little we we just came from right that chromatic move from four to five. Do it again, but put the root in the bass. So hip, so subtle. So cool. If you had not have fallen, I would not have found you. Angel flying too close to the ground. That's right, you tell him. I forgot to finish that after this, it goes, right, there's your, that's your two in the key of A, that's B, push up single notes, minor third, where are we going, but don't stay there, just a passing tone to the major third, to C sharp, and we're back to the root, genius, simple, subtle, again, I patched up your broken wings, And I hung around a while Trying to keep your spirits up Again. Two chord And your fever down Five chord <sighs> I want to get to talking about the song But I don't want you guys to miss all this 
one. Just straight two chord to a five. B7 or B to E. Just that little chromatic walk up is just deadly. Trying to keep your spirit. Listen. Trying to keep your spirits up. And your fever down. This little move. That ends on G sharp, okay? This little, you're in your two chord, chromatic walk down now. To G sharp, third of E. But instead of making it right here, does it in open position. That you would fly away. Oh, it's so good. For love is the greatest healer to be found. So leave me if you need to. I will still remember. Listen to this little move here. Add in the flat seven to really pull to the four. I will still remember. Hello, little diminished run. This is flat out bitching. I will still remember that. Uh, where are we in here? Where are I? I got turned around. So leave me if you need to. I will still remember. There it is. Angel flying too close. To the ground. So good. Love that little move right there. Leave me if you need to. I will still remember. Yeah, that's so good. That it's coming on the one. Melody's on the major third. to the root when it goes to the four and then this little remember all these little diminished clusters are stacked minor thirds so therefore they have four names right so it doesn't matter you can just push it up three frets three frets three frets minor third minor third minor third and that's how you get that sound angel flying too close to the ground So leave me if you need to. Such a great song. I will still remember. Angel Wait for it in the room, buddy. Flying too close 
to the ground. Right there. Okay. Cool thing that happens at the end. Melody's on B. Over the five chord. He gets there before the five chord. B is the fifth of the five chord. Okay? The fifth of E. The ninth degree, a whole step above the root is your ninth or your second. That's the fifth of your five chord. So he gets there, nails it confidently. Chord shows up. To the ground. Four chord. Makes it minor. Wraps it up major. Just unbelievable. Who sent this to me? DYOE0000. Thanks for being a member on GuitarGate and making us do this one. Okay. I'm a huge Willie Nelson fan. Um, I have known of Lucas. I've seen him play with his dad. I want to explore his music. I really deeply do. But what comes across in this video are two things. One, actually it's one thing. It's a deep, deep, and I know this was on his 90th birthday celebration, but it's a deep appreciation for his father as an artist. The vocal inflections, spot on, but still retaining that unique, like his, his kind of thumbprint on it, right? The tone, the actual timbre, to the ground, right? Like that just nails it. The, f the rhythmic freedom to just let the chords continue out in the room and pick it up where you want. Again, perfect Willie Nelson. And again, I, 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 I married an angel flying way too close to the ground. So... The whole time listening to this, I just keep thinking about my wife, Annie. But I couldn't, <laughs> I, I need to listen to it again because I couldn't stop thinking about wanting to make sure you all don't miss how awesome the guitar parts and the arrangement are. There's basically, all of my favorite changes are in this song. All of my little favorite techniques. You have, you got the diminished run. You have these little tasteful little, you know, that move to a three, it's just beautiful. You have the major four to the minor four, which he saves till the end. You have this little, right? You have this descending. You have chromatics up, you have chromatics down. His vibrato is touched on the guitar. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Couldn't be a bigger fan of this performance in this video and of him and his father. That's it. If you dig the vibe here, hit subscribe. Drop a little link in the comment or a little something. Let me know what you think of this, where we should go next. And if you want to be like DYOE0000, who didn't want to use the real name, and pick what comes next on YouTube, get a shout out, tell me what you want me to pay attention to, that is a thank you I reserve for my students on guitargate.com. It's the first link in the description. You get all my lessons, you get all my courses, and direct access to me. You can send me videos of you playing. I'll give you feedback. It's the whole deal. It's 2024. Um, that's it, my friends. I love you all. Keep the guitar in your hands. Keep chasing those perfect songs. Elusive as they are. Cheers.